Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist and I'm here today to create a very beautiful um, art in Adobe Dimension CC. We will be using, yes, 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 Adobe Dimension CC and also we will be using materials I have created in Adobe Capture CC. And I have tutorial about how you can create a material a texture for a Dimension CC using Adobe Mobile application Adobe Capture CC. Also, we will be using 3D model I have previously created in uh, Poser Pro. Let's start. First of all, I would like to bring my um, 3D object. I will click on File, Import and 3D Model. Here I have my model I would like to work with and click OK. Using uh, Select and Scale tool I will um, make uh, my element bigger. Just like that. Now he's a big guy. Perfect, right? Um, what I would like to do right now, I would like to rotate my alien. I will switch to select and rotate tool and I will rotate it. Just like that. How cute is it? Using a horizontal line, I will bring my alien down and I will just slightly bring it up. Just like that. Now, I would like to switch to my uh, Adobe Stock License, a li a Creative Cloud Library, and here I have my uh, image I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. I will be using this image as my background for today's project. Uh, let's see where is, where is my image. Here. Somewhere here, I remember. Here. I will click and drag and voila. And Dimension will ask me a few questions. Um, I don't want uh, to resize it. I would like to create environment light, of course, match a sunlight, oh yes, and match camera perspective, yes please, and I will click OK. Just like that. So as you can see, Dimension um, created beautiful light based on my background image. Now I will um, bring my uh, element close to the camera, just like that. And voila! Now time to apply material to our element. I will switch to my uh, materials library and here I have all um, materials I have created um, in Adobe Capture CC. I will select my element um, tab and I will click on a material I would like to use today. Just like that. How simple is it? If I would like to modify a color or um, any other parameters for my material, I can do it as well. Definitely, I would like to change a color. I will click on base color and I will make it just slightly um, blue, just like that. Maybe something like that. Yes, something like that. And darker. I love it. If I would like, I can um, modify my texture. I can rotate it just like that. And I love it. Now I would like to change uh, my uh, element uh, eyes. I will select uh, eyes left and right in same time. And here I have a material I would like to use. Simply click on material and voila. I will rotate texture of my material to make it more interesting. Maybe something like that. I love it more. <laughs> Very nice. Perfect. Just perfect. And voila. Um, we can adjust um, different parameters of our uh, alien. Example, if I would like to uh, add another um, material, I can do it as well. So I can uh, click on um, chest example and I will add another material. Something like that. Perfect. And we will continue selecting uh, different parts of our element and we will add different uh, texture to it. Let's see, I don't want to touch his neck. Just like that. I don't want to touch his hand, arm, yes. Absolutely yes. 
and let's continue applying different material to different parts of Ellen's body just like that so spend more time don't rush because as you can see we have a lot of different parts it takes some time but it's worth it believe me just like that let's see what I missed just like that perfect right and let's see I think I'm okay definitely you can add anything else you can uh, modify um, and add a material to any parts of your um, alien or your own of your any uh, 3D model, 3D object you uh, brought to your uh, Dimension CC. No problem with it. Let me see what I missed. I missed something. Okay, if I didn't, good for me. But if I missed, I can fix it. No, I didn't miss. This is everything what I wanted. Ah, hips. Yes, I would like to add brighter material for his uh, hip, just like a super power uh, belt and a voila. If you would like to adjust light, simply click on environment and you can um, rotate your light, increase intensity. And also, if you select depth of field, you can adjust um, depth, uh, depth of field. So you can apply a kind of um, depth of field. So, uh, example, your element will be in the focus and background will be out of focus. Everything depends uh, on your preferences, guy. guys. So, this is what I wanted to share with you today. And again, if you are satisfied with everything, with composition, with material, with light, with everything, click on render. Um, and when uh, Dimension will finish your rendering, you will be able to continue working on your project in Adobe Photoshop CC. But I think I'm super happy with what I'm having right now. After Dimension will um, uh, stop my rendering, I will... Um, save my file as it is. I don't want to apply any modification uh, in Adobe Photoshop CC. So guys, and by the way, about render, I have a lot of uh, tutorials I uploaded before about um, a rendering process in Adobe Dimension CC. So guys, we have created very beautiful alien using uh, Dimension CC. Uh, also, we used um, materials I previously created in Adobe Capture CC and um, we used alien um, model I previously created in uh, Poser Pro. Thank you guys and I will see you later. Bye!